Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for David 3000's Fun and Happiness Podcast. Tonight, David and his guests talk about video games, game shows, sports, news, movies, and a lot more fun. And now, here is your host, David Rikazin! Hello everybody, I'm David Thousand here, and welcome to the season 2 premiere of David Thousand's Fun and Happiness Podcast. I am David, your host, and tonight, we have an exciting episode here for you guys, and uh, tonight... I have some uh, guests here with me, uh, who's going to be participating here on the season two premiere. Uh, first, we have uh, Mr. Games of Friends 2001, Danny Pokemon Lewis. Hello, everyone, and I'm as just I'm just as surprised as you listening that David did a second season of the Fun and Happiness podcast. Well, it's been a uh, pretty good show, and I want to be a pod- I want to host a podcast, so um. Well, on Anchor and all of that, um, and and I've been doing this since 2019, so it's been good one so far. And uh, we have also here with us is uh, for moment of one. How are you doing? Hey, um, I'm doing all right. It's happy to be here. Um, I got um both co-hosts. So uh, I got uh, my pilot host from Lock It In and my actual host Lock It In here with me. So this is going to be interesting. Oh yeah, I'm so I'm so thrilled. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, well, unfortunately, uh, Tom Lewis and uh, Hammer Chari are not here at this moment because uh, Chari could be sleeping, as always, or uh, uh, or something else. But uh, and I don't know where Tom is at. But um, they may see them. Uh, Later on in this episode. If not, I'll just do another. Uh, I'll have him on the second episode, uh, like next week or so. Um, but uh, however, this episode we are just gonna be uh, talking about our topics, uh, what we want to talk about, and just having some fun here. Um, and oh, uh, I think uh, maybe Tom can't come because he might have might have lost power with snow, but who knows? But um. Anyway, so, uh, let's see. Well, uh, I guess we can uh, get started with, um, Danny, what's your first topic? My first topic is going to be the two nasty words that Brandon Martin doesn't like, and that uh, is Redbubble. Uh, <laughs> twenty. I think 2020 was the peak year for my Redbubble sales so far. I've been doing it since 2019, but in late 2020, I started uploading a lot more. So... Let's go over the sales uh, stats right now. Oh, yeah. Now, overall, we have made a grand total of 29 sales. And so that means in, in year 2021 alone, we have made, in January 2021 alone, we made six sales. And some people uh, bought more than one item in that sale, so that helps. <laughs> Oh, yes. And some of the best-selling merch has included a set of uh, Alex Trebek coasters and a Russian roulette shirt and a spiral notebook and coasters for some other show called Lock It In. (laughs) Oh, yes. I wonder who bought it. And uh, next we have the uh, Richard Dawson throw pillow and uh, a Gene Rayburn shirt and Wilkins coffee t-shirt. You can buy Wilkins coffee shirts if you're a fan of the Muppets, Jim Henson style vintage. But uh, the fir- I uploaded the first designs of 2021 to my page last night. And those included a uh, picture of Cleveland, ban- uh, Youngstown, Ohio band leader, Joe Fedorchak. And uh, I-, I cast in the Bernie Sanders mittens meme I uploaded a picture of that, and I uploaded a picture of Dick Clark from the 1980s on Pyramid. And I'm not going to make the joke that I made off the air now, but... <laughs> Probably people know where it came from. Yeah. But, um... Anyway, so... Anyone else to go on that first topic? 
Uh, no, that's about it. Just uh, if you're buying my stuff on Redbubble and you send me an email with proof and I already know you, then uh, you'll get a shout out on me from my YouTube page and uh, you may get some exclusive uh, content in some form or fashion. Yes. Now, as for my first topic, I'll be talking about what season two of this uh, show has in store. Um, we have, as you can tell by the opening, we have a brand new intro um, that is announced by you know, Real Brian Martin. And speaking of, here's Brian Martin. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. And there goes the call. But um, anyway, so yes, we have a brand new uh, intro. And um, but now so we have a new logo as well. Hope you all like it. I made uh, by a couple of X. But um, yeah, and uh, what else is coming up? Well, we're just going to be having the same little format as that season where we just do our topics and have uh, guests every week um, where it doesn't have to be the same people because that's how I kind of like on this show where it doesn't have to be the same people every week, like for example, for R and R or Bird Call so or any other podcast. So um so yeah, that is how it's uh, gonna work and I may add some uh, new segments here into the season. I just have to come up uh, come up with some new ideas. But uh, people are always free to give me suggestions for segments here on the show and you know, we'll make it happen. Um so and also we are still gonna be uh, having this show on Anchor. And on YouTube, and also for those who are listening on Twitch right now, uh, this is for a limited time. You can only watch the video version for two weeks, um, and then once that two weeks is over, you will be only allowed to listen to it on uh, YouTube and Anchor. Um, this is the original that I came up with for the format, and um, there's going to be a lot more stuff happening this season. As for the schedule goes, um, I may do another episode this weekend, but however, um, this, this show will be every single week or every other week. This is going to be a random uh, day show type of thing, like that, like back in uh, 2020 and 2019. Um, so that's what I have here for my first topic. Hope you all enjoyed the season. And uh, now we're going to go to Phenomenal One. What is your first topic? Uh, my first topic is going to talk about Flash games. As you know, um, I have edited um, some Flash games, and um, I've sent David a copy of my, um, my first six, I believe, that I've made some edits on. So he'll probably be um, playing those on his channel soon, so keep your eye on that. And I'll also be playing some on my channel myself. So basically keep your eye on that. And that is my first topic. All right, and of course, uh, Flash went way back in 2020, but we can always uh, figure something out to make them work uh, with our uh, skills of technology here. Um, now we are now, Danny, are you still on way for your second topic? I guess he's still on the phone, but um, I might as well go to my second topic. Uh, so. Uh, what is coming up this month as for channel updates? Well, um, as for uh, my channel updates here, uh, this, this is going to be the same thing. I will be uh, doing gameplay specials here this month. Um, I have already done some uh, birthday anniversary specials uh, recently. Uh, that's just basically, um, oh, Charlie is on his way. There we go. How about that? Um, but back to what I was saying. Uh, um, what do you call it? Um, I'll be doing some... I might do some walkthroughs here and there this month. We'll see what happens. But however, um, this week I'll be uploading some videos in advance uh, for the next two weeks. Um, uh, just uh, nothing but gameplays. But... Um, However, starting uh, next month, you'll see more games so series coming. I'm going to work on CC2 a price product this week or towards the end of this week. Uh, so that way, I won't have to work on them during my week off from school next week. I mean, I could, but uh, I am working on some, a new studio. Not a new studio, 
but I make over from my room disco we got a new uh, paint on the walls um, and all that cool stuff uh, new gaming setup and all that so stay tuned um, I'll do it I'll make sure to do a video on that of the new setup uh, but as for right now it's just gonna be my usual thing uh, gameplay videos a uh, live now I don't know about live streams live streams is for twitch I'll get to twitch in a little bit but um, yeah, um, but, um, I shall explain about Twitch right now. Um, I will be streaming Wednesdays and Saturdays, but however, right now it's just the gameplay specials behind the scenes. But, um, as for Wednesdays and Saturdays, I'll do like a, a stream that's actually planned and I know what I'll be doing, like a gameplay stream instead of the uh, gameplay specials. Um, oh, also this month, I'll be doing game modes on my YouTube channel as well, uh, but back to Twitch, um, I'll just be, um, uh, doing my thing with the, uh, uh, gameplay specials, that's what I'm mostly doing until, um, next month, I'll get back to doing actual, uh, uh, streams, uh, that are not the, uh, gameplay special ones, and, um, and as for the other stuff about YouTube, uh, the reason why that I will be streaming on YouTube for quite some time, I'll explain that in my third topic, but, um, anyway, um, so yeah, this is, uh, this month is just gonna be game runs, uh, and gameplay, so that's gonna be basically it. Oh yes, as for Weekend of Games, um, I'm gonna actually do that next month, because I wanna do that once the, uh, setup is, uh, uh, completed, so that's what I'll be doing. Um, so stay tuned for more details on that make up games. Uh, so that's the uh, my second topic. Uh, Danny, are you ready for your ne uh, second topic? Yes. Uh, my second topic is going to be... Trader Town. Well, let's see. For those that don't know, I'm an enthusiast of a little Roblox game. It's called uh, Trader Town. Based off of Trouble in Terrorist Town on Gmod, it's a first-person shooter game where if you're a trader, you're supposed to just kill people without getting noticed, and uh, if you're if the team of traders can kill all the innocents without being uh, all killed, then you look around. But if you're innocent, you're just supposed to kind of walk around and try not to get killed. But uh, I am the founder and uh, solo uh, member, or not member, but sole... Uh, person in charge of the unofficial Trader Town Hall of Fame. And uh, <laughs> I had the Trader Town Hall of Fame Awards last May, and I hope to hold the next one this year on May 23rd. So mark your calendars to watch the Trader Town Hall of Fame Awards. I, don't, I, thought, I thought it was May 19th. May 19th was the last one, but it has to do on the day of the week. Wait, what did I say? May 19th? I heard you say May 19th for this year. May 19th. Wednesday? Well, let me look at the calendar. May... May 20th, May 19th. Well, I guess we'll... Float. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I wrote it down somewhere. May 19th or May 23rd. But, uh, yes, I will be going through Player of the Year and uh, all that stuff. And uh, I hope everyone enjoys it. I know the last Hall of Fame induction got a lot of dislikes. <laughs> we're, we're, fine. we're fine with that. It's it, it, Any attention is good attention. Right. Hold on, let me, let me uh, while we wait for Char to come on here, as he says he is coming his way, um, let me actually look up how many dislikes that video has, because I want to see this. I look, I'm looking at it right now, can I see it? Okay, yeah. It has 17 likes, but 21 dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes, and that was on May 24th. 20 oh. actually but when did i say the next one was um uh, let me see oh what could show up is it charlie or tom charlie oh charlie oh good i'm not the only one that's like good <laughs> what what yeah. happened charlie Oh well, I mean, I woke up. I woke. I was working this morning, David. And I had two hours of sleep, and by the time I got home, I was gonna take care and relax until show time, and then I crash, crashed out. So, yeah, you're looking at me even here to begin with, you schmuck. So basically, you did pass out. Hmm. That's why I, I didn't pass out drunk. 
I didn't pass out drunk this time. This was pass out out of exhaustion. Hmm. Well, at least we had Charlie. At least we have Charlie now. Now, as for Tom Mullins, I don't know where he's at. Probably because of the snow. That's yes, but that I can confirm the next T Trader Town Hall of Fame inductions will be on May nineteenth, twenty twenty one. All right, my calendars, people. You might see me win an award uh, for uh, the worst ever to get through the tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, Charlie, uh, do, what's your uh, first topic here on the show? It can be anything, anything at all. Mm. Oh, so 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 it's called fun. This is fun and happiness, right? Yeah, with that, this from his podcast. This is going on my YouTube page. Well, yeah, I was just. Oh, you're still doing YouTube. You're still doing live stream on YouTube after after the. Uh... No, I I'm broadcasting this on Twitch, but I'm gonna re-upload it to YouTube tomorrow. Ah, smart man. Yeah, because I was like thinking, why get things live? I I didn't uh, like get all that. Um, before I go to my first uh, topic, I do, even though I know I've already said, I do apologize for. Coming in late. Um, I'm sorry. Like I yeah. said, they these have been catch up with me. Luckily, I don't have to. Luckily, I don't have to get up till two for my job interview, and then, and then, um, well, I got to do tomorrow's laundry. Anyway, <clears throat> huh? First topic. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It could be oh, on your YouTube channel. I'll probably say that for the second topic. Since since I'll probably do, I know on Rand Rave they'll talk about a little bit more. Uh, but uh, what about that? Like uh, I'm sure phenomenal ones heard of it. The whole my hole, my hole. Oh God, yes, I've heard about that. <laughs> Nia Jax, for the first time in her in her probably entire existence as a wrestler, has gone viral for a good thing. And it was a funny day where she landed, like, basically, David, mm -hmm. Monday Night Raw was last night, and what woman, Nia Jax, who I'm sure Jordan and Brandon and Andrew have talked about how bad she is in the ring. She had a match, and when, when she tried doing a leg drop on the apron, which, of course, as WWE will never shut up about telling us, is the hardest part of the ring. So she landed butt first on the apron. She's mm. walk, she's walking around like she's screaming like her head off. Then she scree yells, "My hole!" referring to her butthole. I guess she hit it when she was uh, hit it really hard when she did that. And <laughs> she's like, "My hole!" I should have came in here with the Nia Jax uh, uh, fa uh, "My hole" meme. Um, and yeah, it's it's been trending on Twitter all around, and all like all the things. It's it, 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 it's it's hilarious, and uh, and like like that's that's the uh, thing uh, end of my first topic. All right, and Danny has his Chuck William profile, beautiful. Um, oh, yes. So uh, I guess you could go to Paige now with his uh, second topic. Well, my second topic is I'm going to be starting a new series on um, YouTube. Um, oh, I'll be starting um, two new series. My um, second new series will be in my third topic. But my second um, new series on YouTube will be pretty much a new series I like to call Rank Em, where um, I'll be doing some tier rankings on my channel, something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but now I'm going to start really doing it. I'll be doing some wrestling ranking, and I'm going to be doing some wrestling, at game shows, pretty much lots of stuff. Is going to be in that rank them. So basically, you know, give it, you know, check it out. Um, be sure to check that out. Um, I don't know when the first episode will come out. Probably some point um, near the end of this month. It'll probably be the first episode to come out some point then. But check that out. Um, and I'm excited to do it. Very nice. So is that the end of your uh, second topic? Yep, that is the end of my second topic. All right. Well, uh, since everybody, well, actually, I guess I could go to Charlie now with his second topic. So, um, 
Uh, oh, I know where we're at. Okay, so my second topic will go with the updates with the YouTube channel. We'll go the generic route. Um, of course, some of you know that I did. Um, I have been. Uh, uh, re I reinstated some of my so old social media accounts to build a social media empire. Uh, of course, uh, I uh, made TikTok. I, I brought back my TikTok just for yeah. the scene. Well, it's going to be for uh, poops and giggles until until we until until we um, until I get bored. Damn my that alarm! Give me one second. Um, okay, so it's it, like let's see how long it goes. Believe it or not, the last, like, my first video back on TikTok in over two years made, like, over 168 views, which doesn't seem like much for somebody who never, who hasn't used it. That's actually pretty good. But I also did Snapchat. So I'm trying to build a social media empire besides my YouTube empire. And it's all be funny. But... To the main course of the channel, I am one step closer to the to my YouTube. Uh, as I'm trying to light this fucking candle, um, I am one step closer to start filming my Halloween revisited series. I have made the intro for uh, the uh, entire series. If some of you've seen, because uh, it was on the YouTube channel. So that should be the first, the final movie review of the month of February, which is going to be uh, John Carper's Halloween. Also, another film I'm going to review this month is going to be a movie called Spree, which David, you should learn, you should watch, learn a thing or two. Uh, where a a uh, YouTuber, he's also an Uber driver, or in this movie it's called Spree. It's Spree. Kind of like Uber. Anyway, he's trying to go viral off of his YouTube and all of his other live stream stuff he does. Um, so his bright idea is to kill people. So it's like it's like a satire, black comedy type shit, you know. So um, I recommend it. So I will I will have that review as well. If you want to check out very soon. And that's really about it. Besides, of course, the Hangman Outcast, unless unless something work comes up, returning this uh, Monday at 7 p.m. where we're gonna be doing the good, the same, the the usual, making fun of David, uh, talk about games, talk about movies, and whatever else pisses us off, like David. Yeah. And then uh, and uh, and have a little war of words with Dan about uh, all that. So. Dragon coming in, so we'll be li we'll be live. Uh, hey, David, you said you may not be able to be on this week's episode anyway, right, David? Um, I am also busy next week, so yeah, mm. I may not be Damn there. It. I may not be there until episode four. Oh, oh yeah, okay, and that's fine, David. I said, I don't know what we're gonna do, David. We're we don't have anyone to mess with. We gotta bring Andrew back in, yeah. just just for four episodes constantly, just to just to mess with him. Yeah, the good old Andrew Hawking. The king of the yeah, Hawking. Andrew Hawking. But is that the end for the second topic? Yeah. All right. Well, I think it's time for uh my third topic. Which is going to be about what happened to my YouTube channel this past Sunday. Wow. Now, I'm going to talk about this right here, right now. If you guys remember from an episode last season, um, I think it was episode 6, where it was back on 4th of July when we were filming the episode, and you guys remember how YouTube took down uh, the Bird Call podcast on YouTube uh, back on July 4th. Um... And I just wanted to do that because it was kind of, we were not really happy at the time. 
and uh, we decided to get something off our chest about it. Well, for all days, back on Super Bowl Sunday, back on Super Bowl Sunday, February 7th, 2021, I was doing a live stream with Streamlabs OBS. And I was broadcasting on YouTube to see if we could get five subscribers. It was called David Dad's YouTube channel hangout stream. Can we hit 500 subscribers? Just a minute or two before we hit the 500, YouTube has decided to take down my live stream. I'm not making this up, people. This is the first rant here in season two. And it's about YouTube taking down my live stream. I'm gonna explain. And David, like, oh, I was gonna say, for once, I like, like, uh, like, uh, you know how I usually bust your balls about like when you go in little rants or when you flip your chair or something. For once, I would have, if you did flip your chair, I would have actually been like, okay. That's the that's deserving of how you're feeling right now because that that, that completely sucks. And then the, I was gonna I was gonna I guess uh, you're gonna explain so I don't need to ask what was the exact reason. Well, let me read this email right here. We want to let you to know that t- uh, our team reviewed your content and we think it follows our challenge simply policy. We know you may not realize this was a violation of our uh, policies so we are appointing to a, a, a strike to your channel however we have removed the following content from YouTube which is my live stream we realize this may be disappointing news yeah to me not to you guys you just want the money but continue on but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all if we think this we made a mistake. You can appeal uh, this decision. You'll find more details below. Have you and appealed it? Yes, but it's pointless right now. And yeah, but it never hurts to try. And and the reason why I said it's pointless right now because it was a live stream. If it was a video, the W tipper, but it was a live stream that I didn't get to finish. And True. not even close. I was like 15 minutes into the live stream. And this video here says this video has been removed the volume into community guidelines. And if you don't believe me, I have evidence that YouTube has taken that live stream down. And let me tell you, this is not the first time that has happened to me. Okay, this is not the first time this has happened to me. This has happened to me a couple of times before. And it happened on the 4th of July of last year. And, like, they have a, they did this where I wasn't even using StreamYard. I was just using StreamLabs OBS. This has never happened to me where they took it down when I was using StreamLabs OBS. It usually happens when I'm using StreamYard, but this time I was just using StreamLabs OBS. And now YouTube has decided on Super Bowl Sunday to take down the live stream I was doing to celebrate me almost getting 500 subscribers. I mean, when I first saw that, I was like, like, I was like, I... I was pleased, and then when I got really frustrated, and I did a video just to let everybody know what happened for those who are on the chat. A video called YouTube is not bullcrap. Um, and I did that because I was just frustrated, and also that to let people know what happened mostly as well. And this proves YouTube is, is there nothing but snowflakes, like, like, I mean, and for those who are wondering, did you click enough for, made not for kids? I made sure I clicked enough made for kids. 
I'm sure I did. But for some reason, they still take it down where I did absolutely nothing wrong. You might be thinking, did it play any copyright music on our or, or whatever videos? I never played anything copyright. I never played any music. Never. It was just completely uncut. It was like me using my phone, but it's basically in OBS on the computer. I then I play nothing. Uh, everybody, everybody can confirm this, especially for those who want to chat. I did nothing wrong. I was being strictly professional, and YouTube has decided to take down the live stream. And you had no idea how frustrated it was. Because this has crossed the line big time. They have before. But this. Like. This is where it crossed the line big time. Where I wanted to do that more live streams for the fans. Like to grow my channel. But now I can't. Because they took down the live stream for quote unquote community guidelines. And I may have to wait a few months to see what happens. I mean. I was very frustrated when this happened. So, me, I'm going to start with you, Danny. What do you have to say about this? Uh, I think uh, YouTube probably saw it and thought you were 12 years old, so they took down your video. And, uh, well, I mean, that's not your fault. It's YouTube's fault this time. But, uh, you know, David, you got 500 subscribers, so maybe it's time to just calm it down and nod and not upload like 20 times a month. Well,. I won't be up on a whole lot next week, so um, only like a, I'll up like only two or three, but it depends. Um, you have anything else you want to say on this matter? Uh, well, hopefully it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Sorry, what do you have to say about this? I bet you have a lot to say about this before we go to the page. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> no, it's so stupid. It's like. It's like, um, like, do you, like, okay, so let's, let's go with, um, uh, the, the, the underage thing. Is your channel, is your channel, <clears throat> sorry, is your channel, like, listed as for, as for, uh, kids and not adults, correct? My channel is listed for not made for kids. Not made for kids, so that even doesn't make any sense either. On the other hand, however, if that's the case, they could they could say, well, if, if it's not made for kids, and you shouldn't have any minors in it. Um, it, doesn't, it, doesn't play devil. it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it, because I have people on my channel who are under 17, like Connor, Alec, and on live, past live streams. It was you know, this is ridiculous. Yeah, and even, even my videos, like the Hangman Outcast. I've had, I've had you, I've had Connor, I've had a lot of people like who would be considered underage on the channel. Yet they don't. Yet they don't. They've never taken. The only time they've ever threatened to take a video down, and it wasn't them entirely on the Hangman Outcast episode six. Um, I know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that was like the only. That was like the only time that that was ever threatened to be taken down. And I always, I think I told you when you when you first posted because I was at work. I said, "Why?" I always laugh when I said, "Why did they go after you or Brandon or so on and so forth?" But yet, me who pretty much is is like has like like uh, I should have like a, a censor sign right on me because of how much I curse and all the stuff I do on YouTube. Yet they've never tried to take my my visa. So I always laugh at that thinking. They go after somebody who's completely innocent in here, and they don't go after me. Not saying I want want them to do that, but it just it doesn't make any sense for the fact that you're a pretty clean show compared to me, and also so they would have more reason to take me down or uh, whoever else down than they do you. And yeah. just so stupid. And, and it and but David, look at it this way. And, and, and no matter what, you hit 500 subscribers as a big milestone. But I will tell you this. At least you could you could say, hey, YouTube, I'm on YouTube's radar, even though I only have 500 subs. Mm-hmm. So at least, uh, at least uh, so uh, 
At least you can say that because, yeah, it's it, it's stupid what they did. And, you know, it's just uh, – and, and and the problem is is that uh, – and then now you got a strike, so you, you can't live stream. I'm correct. Well, uh, I'm assuming unless you use like a stream yard or something like that, you can get – get around it correct if, if you want it but i know you're not going to but i was saying you have a way to get around it maybe but um yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna which see. is which is understandable i swear if they'd start doing that with us that like um a br buddy of mine told me about anchor there's this platform called anchor to do podcasting and you That's actually make money real quick yeah, so I'm I'm literally thinking that's going to be my my next venture as well, and especially if they if they do anything like that to me, like they hit me with copyright claims, some which a lot of times don't make sense. It's mainly my movie reviews or gameplay videos, but the movie reviews have been hit a lot more often, like the Warner Brothers movies. Uh, mm -hmm. Even though I'm doing everything under the fair use line with with the movie clips or anything like that. But, mm -hmm. like, uh, that's the worst I get. And I don't make money off of YouTube right now, so it's not like I'm losing money by it getting copyright claimed and not and demonetized. But it sucks. And, 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 the, and the sad thing is we can't really do any, like, like, like you said about even the appeal. Like, we can't really do any. We're powerless, we're powerless to the almighty YouTube. Yeah, I... It was pointless for me to report it because, like, it was a live stream. Think about it. Like, yeah, there's true. Nothing I, there's nothing I can fix about it. Paige, what do you have to say about this? Well, first off, I think I've got a lot to say about it. Um, first of all, um, I think um, first of all, congrats on hitting 500 subs. Pretty big accomplishment for you, especially how much you've been promoting it. So, wow. congrats on um. So congrats on finally um, hyping it up enough to where it finally happened. So um, that's first <laughs> off. Thank Second you. of all, um, yeah, um, what happened on YouTube um, sucks. Um, the fact that like they decided to take down your stream for whatever reason, um, you know, and but um, from, what, from what I saw in the email, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it's a copyright strike. It looks like they just took it down. Yeah. So if you really want to continue streaming, you could. Maybe just not show your. Maybe just not like have the camera on, or like just turn it on and off it from time to time. Maybe. Yeah, there's there's way there's definitely ways that you can trick the system. So just keep that in mind. And um, I think Danny and Charlie, I think, will both be in agreement when I say this: grow some facial hair, man. Hmm. Well, um, I, I mean, I don't know if David. I would be curious. I would be curious to see what David looks like with a beard. Like David had, or Brandon's had a beard. Jordan has a has a has a beard and a you know a, I can't say the S for so I'll say a poopy looking uh, chin strap. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and Andrew Andrew has whatever the heck he has on his face, and then of course and then the and then Tom, well he looks like Shaggy and he looks like a stoner. So really, so really he doesn't. Well, not anymore with this because he cut his hair but beforehand. He looked like Shaggy, so you're you're he was okay. Um, and then of course me and Danny and all that, we're all we're all good. Even Paige. Yeah. So, David, my advice is either to grow facial hair or get a fake beard. A fake beard. Well, like well, is this is is this 2013? <laughs> the thing is, da the thing is, David, you have a you have the most baby face. Out of all of us, if we're being yeah, honest, and I think if you grew some hair, like it, it would definitely make you look much older. And you already are a very sophisticated man, mm -hmm. and it would help you out a little bit with that more sophistication. Buy a suit, mm -hmm. grow your beard out, because I'll say I, this: I, I can live with the suit, but you can, just, you can, uh, like. Get a get a bottle of wine, pour it for you guys. You don't need to no. drink it, but just give the illusion. And yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> because as of right now, 
to the YouTube eyes. You're an adorable little ten year old. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> That is true. Well, yeah, just grow like it doesn't even have to be like much. Like it could just be a simple chin badger. Like you just need like just get a little bit of like an edge to your face, and I think you would definitely look much older. And I don't think this problem would happen again. And David, like, do that chin strap because I'm sure you yeah. could you could make a better looking chin strap than Jordan. They can make fun of him for doing for that. You have a better chin strap than Jordan in your first attempt. Plus, every man needs to have a beard at least once in their lives. Yes. And then one day one day for me, David, I want you to grow your hair out. I want you to grow your uh, grow your beard out so you can look like uh, – so we can mistake you for a cult leader. No. <laughs> oh, man. You, hey, hey, David, you've heard of – you heard like Charles Manson, correct? Who? Huh? He hasn't. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, I forget. I forget you're young. He was a he was a coal leader in the in the uh, in the late sixties who who led the crew or led a crew to go and um, kill an actress Sharon Tate who was pregnant with Roman Polanski's child. And um, what do you call it? He never commit. He never like had the gun or had the knife, but he orchestrated. It. He bridge died in prison. But he was like a failing art musician and all that sort of stuff. He's inspired many, many people, either in story, in wrestling movies, uh, real life, so on and so forth. Um, and it was all because this one music producer denied him of getting into the music business, which led him to this to this thing, to uh, what happened. And uh, he was trying to start music business either. Oh yeah, it's like I stud I like honestly one of my things in high school. I actually studied uh, Manson and in, in, uh, for a, they wanted me to do like an essay on something like the like uh, American history, but something not like common. Like oh, when when the United States was found, like screw that. So I looked up. I said, okay, I'm gonna search something about the Manson. Thing. Oh, that was like the, the one time in the high school that I was actually 100 percent motivated to to studying, to learning, all this other stuff. My ex-girlfriend at the time, she did one on Zodiac Killer. She got a B, B minus, and I got an A plus for my score. And then they sent us both the counseling why we why we were um why were we talking about Syria? I'm like, you never gave us you never told us we couldn't. And it is a part of US history. I, I just told my ex, I said, you should have, you should have came to me about the Zodiac because like, I got lots of, like, I know a lot about that too. Remember I've all, I've said, I've wanted, I wanted to be a, a psychiatrist for the criminally insane, just cure, to find out what made him tick. So that's another reason why I've been so fascinated with that. But yeah, David, just grow your beard out, grow your thing. thing I had, like, like me, I said, get, get a few girls, find a right. Uh, an abandoned ranch in, in in Northern California, and you know, ah. just have your have your little groupies and have a, have a um who else, who else they have a guy I have a guy named Tex I'll kill for you. They'll be a okay. First of all, I am not growing my hair out. I rather keep it like it is now. But um, you, you say that now, but one day you'll wake up and you'll be too lazy to shave. And it'll kind of just start from there. Ten years, only only until if the U.S. is open again. Oh yeah. I'll give you this, David. The only reason why I I usually shave my beard is because it gets it gets a little the, the, the beard gets annoying to me. Other than that, I really don't have a, like I don't like shaving it because I don't really like like a lot of people say, "Oh, how young you look!" I get I need more when I'm getting cigarettes. And mm. all that, and I'm like, and my goal has always been to grow a big bushy beard, grow long hair and a big bushy beard. I'm halfway there. And David says, "I know I'm your hero. You're the man. I'm the man you look up to. Like, Let's if you want to be like your hero, grow your hair out, grow your beard out. You'll get plenty of women. Trust me." Oh yes. Yeah, I'd rather not do that right now. But anyway, let's go on to our um, next topic. Um, 
Danny, you have the floor. Uh, my next topic is why David should retire after 500 subscribers. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, we're all thinking, though, right? Let's be honest. Uh, no, my third topic is going to be... Uh, oh, my God. Uh, well, right now, I'm approaching 900 subscribers. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not anxious. I'm not counting on it. I'm just like, you know, it's fine where it is, 870 or so. It's not that big of a deal, you know. It's it's, it's not something you, you can't sleep until you find out you hit it, you know. What I yeah, mean? yeah, unlike David, right? <laughs> but uh, when I do hit a thousand subscribers, I imagine I'll have a big uh, live stream party with all my friends, and uh, it, it'll be fun. Let me actually look up how many subs you have right now. Yeah. You have. I, I have. I, it has to be sometime this year, logistically speaking. You have. Uh... You're at 877 subscribers. Hey, that's pretty good. So, yeah. And hopefully well, it, uh, YouTube doesn't uh, do me dirty like they did Hangman Charlie and take away half my subscribers when I am already have a community page. I was trying to forget that. Why are you bringing it up? <laughs> Charlie, you need to get that investigated. Like, Why do they do that? Believe it or not, I did. I have emailed them about it. Multiple times, and I showed them like I even like that's that's like it's like um what um fifty dollar boy uh, didn't understand when he was like hey we well, go find go you'll, you'll subscribe us uh, you people but I said I t I told him I said I said like I, I didn't even need to defend myself but I was like thinking literally like thinking telling him I said because he kept saying I was. Like lying about something, I told him. I said, I said uh, because of my views and all that, I'm like the, the problem with YouTube is that everything, every every YouTuber or channel is different. Ken's Five is a local news station here in here in San Antonio. They get they get or they have forty two thousand subscribers, and per video they get between fifty to hundred views of forty two thousand. So, wow. like, like, I always tell people, the algorithm is there to use and to, to learn it, but never rely and think that if you have this many subscribers, you're going to get to, like, if you get to 42,000, never think you're going to get guaranteed 5K, 10K, 15K every freaking episode. Or even you could be getting a fraction of that, you could be getting, like, because in the algorithm, if you have 42,000, you should probably get at least I would say about half to 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 a you know to one third of that view viewership of that subscriber base. So it just like I said, it always depends, and especially with news, the uh, sex and murder sell. You know, what yeah. I mean, those are those are like two things. But if you're talking about your local sports, actually, you know, what? I take that back. Sports teams actually get more views than the, than the sex and murder, which is shocking. That's why I look when, when, when I'm subscribed to my news. And I usually only look up that stuff or when the election was going on. Do not trust CNN. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, C CNN. Fake news. I love me some CNN all the time. Anyway, I'm, um, I'm, kidding. I'm more of an MSNBC Fox News person. But. Hmm. Anyway, um. So that was your second, um, uh, third, um, uh, uh, third topic, right, Dane? Yeah. All right. Hopefully the last one. Uh, we'll see, but all right, uh, Paige, you have the floor for your next topic. All right, and I think this should be my final topic as well. Um, on Twitch, I will be um doing a play I'll be doing some playthroughs on Twitch, and I'll be starting a new series that I've been really trying to do for a little bit, but just have had time. But now, um, I should probably hopefully get started doing that soon. I'll be starting a new series of this game that I've been really enjoying. It's called Plutocracy. Hmm. And you play um as a character. You play as um a character in um. And basically, the goal of the game is um, you're basically trying to get as much wealth as you can in a certain period of time. And well, it's either you get you either try to get the most amount of wealth, or you try to have the biggest amount of influence, depending on which one you play, um, depending on which um, 
which setting you have it on. But um, you play basically as a person um, in the um, U.S., basically in the um, late 1800s, and it's pretty fun. I've been enjoying it. <laughs> All right. Um, <sighs> so that's the end for your topic, right? Pretty much, and yeah, well, actually, um, that's pretty much it for my third topic. And also, you know, check out my channel. Um, we'll be live tomorrow for Live and Uncut, S2E5. Yes, so uh, that requires... I, I, I should be there. I should be there, honest, for a bit, at least a little bit. All right, and yes, it'll also be the 20th um, regular episode of the program, so check it out. Yes, uh, Live and Uncut is way better than a certain show called Raw and Uncut, or whatever. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story for another time, but um, and also uh, we have you have the lounge as well, of course. Uh, um, yeah, I'll be come. I'll be coming back on the twenty first. All right, <laughs> fourth episode. So twenty first, so Sunday, twenty uh, first of February. All right. Um. Well, I might as well go to my final topic, which is the results of Super Bowl 55. Uh, I'm going to talk about that right now. Super Bowl 55. Uh, before we go to Charlie's last nice topic. Um, or second to that as well. Um, so, this past Sunday, we have the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won it 31 to 9. In the first quarter, uh, Tampa scored 7. And Kansas City scored 3. Then in the second quarter, Tampa scored 14. And Chiefs scored 3. And then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers scored 10. And then Chiefs scored 3. And then in the fourth quarter, no points. And the Tampa Bu uh, Buccaneers won it 31 to 9, uh, which I can uh, which my prediction was 35 to 24. I thought the uh, Chiefs could have had a little bit more points, but however, I did predict who was going to win, and it was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The reason why I went with the Buccaneers is because they have more in the group team. Since the Chiefs, ever since the Chiefs had some injuries, and now some one player had to uh, step aside because of COVID. Um, and it's more fun to say Buccaneer. <laughs> oh yeah. And they had too many freaking pellet pe penalties. Yes. Oh, I'll explain about the referees in a little bit. Well, yes, folks. Uh, hashtag Tom, uh, hashtag Tom Brady paid a Buccaneer. Um. But back to what I was saying. My thoughts on the game itself. It was a decent game because we made some history. But um, especially the first quarter. But however, the referees were terrible. Um, because all of the calls, uh, even like one of the calls I believe was totally wrong. Um... All of the calls were against the Chiefs. I mean, that's what pretty much got Tampa the victory. Is that all the calls were against the Chiefs. And, and Tom Brady. Tom Brady is on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I was talking about the uh, calls from the rough Yeah, I know what you said. When you said that uh, that was the reason why the Bucks won with all the penalties were and Tom Brady. Was oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, because Tom Brady and Gronk and all of that are on the team, um, because they're much being full uh before they were Former 24 7 champion, Gronk. Mm hmm. But, um, anyway, so my thoughts of the game, it wasn't, it was decent. I, I it was watchable. But, however, the calls by the referees. Um, against the Chiefs, kind of took the game away. But however, uh, the one thing that did kind of disappointment is that the game wasn't that very exciting. I mean, 
my favorite Super Bowl of all time was the one from four years ago. But um, this one, it wasn't that very exciting because, you know, Tampa got big league and all the referees uh, took calls against the Chiefs and it was just crazy. So, um, and some of the players were missing on the Chiefs. So, um, but however, it's a decent game of, uh, it was a decent game overall. Super Bowl 55, uh, the, for the first time in history, a team is hosting at their home stadium. Uh, Tampa uh, won the Super Bowl at their home stadium, which is pretty crazy. Um, and that that is the first time that ever happened. Um, so uh, I want to say congratulations to Tom Brady, Gronk, and everybody else on the Buccaneers. And um, also congratulations to the Chiefs for getting that far, but unfortunately fell short. But um, at least it was a decent game, Super Bowl 5. Um, let's go to Charlie's topic right now. All right, I'm back. Yes, yes, it was a uh, they had they had the uh, what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the uh, Raymond James Stadium, which is going to host host WrestleMania 37. This year, first WWE show that's going to have a live audience. That's very interesting. Anyway, uh, see, third topic. Third topic, what's that going to be? Well, of course, I am doing a, uh, I guess I'll keep it in the vein of my YouTube channel. I am doing a uh, Q&A in the, ne in the next probably, hopefully this week, maybe like a little bonus. What did, oh, there, there. Um, so like I've told everybody, if you have any questions, leave them either in the comment section of that video that was uh, announced it, or B, uh, leave them in the uh, comments on Facebook, or um, or probably mess me or mess me through the Renegade. Well, we've already had some. David's left some good ones. My boy Adam, the G4 L Truth members, left a few good ones. Even the one that I. Uh, I wish David could join in live, see his reaction for it. Be extra funny. Um, mm. So we got we got a few good questions, but I've I've told people I said they could ask as many questions they want. He's like I don't want to just be one person asking ten thousand questions, but you know if you've got like five more questions and doesn't need to, it could be about wrestling, horror movies, my sex life, whatever that that, that comes to your mind, you know, and. Uh, and so, like, uh, there's no limits. I will answer anything. Uh, even if it's a funny troll question. Be like, if someone said, Charlie, why are you gay? So, like that, I'll answer anything. Just, just uh, because it, it, it's in the spirit of fun and also uh, shouting out people. So, yeah. Speaking of page, you have uh, no more topics to talk about, right? Um. My only other topic is just discussing David growing a beard. Yeah, um, make it a joke. Just a joke topic. Because <laughs> he does need some. He kind of does need some facial hair going into adulthood, and yeah. he he would look good. I think he would. I think he has a face that I think could do fine with a beard. I couldn't imagine it. Like seeing a beard. Because I don't think. Oh, go ahead, Charlie. Unless he has wrinkles, like early in his life. He has that baby face that stick with him. How dare you mute me? I didn't do that. I didn't mute you. I said the host unmuted muted me, so I was like, you must have muted me. Anyway. I don't know what happened there. But, uh, uh, but David, David has that baby face that probably until it gets wrinkles, it won't go away. Boy, even though you don't smoke, you'll probably be ID'd every time, even if you're 29. Then again, you still need to be 21 to even buy cigarettes nowadays, but I'm not encouraging you, smoke. smoking is a bad habit. But, yeah, okay. David, you need, to, you need to grow big. You need to also become a lumberjack because once, like, not only, not only would you fit perfectly if you grow a big, bushy beard, but you can get some muscle. Well, I already have, I already have muscle. Don't be a beaver. Don't be a beaver uh, uh, make, building logs with your tail. Be a, be a lumberjack lifting logs up and get wooing all the women. Like, oh! 
His eye, hmm. not that. Hmm. Well, um. Well, let me say one more thing. If I, if David with a beard, I don't know how it would look. Or because if you see David's face with a beard and then you hear his voice, you're just kind of like, huh? It, it, I don't think the voice would match the face. But now the voice matches the face, but with the beard, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, here's another good idea. Grow, grow your beard out and get a voice changer so you can deepen your voice like Darth Vader. Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm your, look, Danny, I am your father. <laughs> Yeah, I'm David's stuff. father. No, I am not David's father. Let's get that clear. <laughs> you are not the father. Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. Corey. No, no, no. Seventeen years of child support for you. Yep. Charlie, I get. I bet you had the. Did you have to deal with that or not? Oh yeah, yeah. That 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 like um, uh, that 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 is um like um. It's more unfortunate when you when you like. Like uh, with the, like when you paid child support and you followed all the rules, but yet you and these your spouse would get in arguments, and then out of spite, she just even even if she's in the wrong of the argument, she just it's like, oh well, you're not going to see the dog, but yeah, you still have to pay child support even though you're not seeing her, and it's court order that you see her, and you're not doing anything to the point that you are giving her a reason not to. You know, it's not like you're doing jugs or your drinking's gotten out of hand or you're getting into bar fights or doing anything like you're very irresponsible. So it's, 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 uh, it, it's, it's sad, but once again, they're not all moms or dads are like that. Unfortunately that the stereotype is that they are. And some people just live the stereotype, which is unfortunate, but there are some, Good co-parents out there. I will. I will. I will give them that. They're able to manage with everything. Not get jealous. If if the guy if the guy has a new um, 20, 20 year old hottie or the the um, wife has a twenty uh, twenty year old underwear model or something, you know. So it's ah. like uh, there are there are those there are those times, you know. Then again, I never had to worry about my ex getting getting any um, good looking guys. Funny enough, most of the guys she got after me were looked like they just came out of the trash can. Like the dude she left me for literally looked like if he told me he was homeless, I wouldn't have said he was lying. Huh. So guys, I, jo I joke who look like I, I literally joked. <laughs> yeah, I literally joked with I literally joked with my friend. I said I said, Well, he clearly ain't bigger than me in the, the in the place that counts, because if that's the case, she wouldn't have tried to come back to me. A few, a few, a uh, few months after she left. Oh, yeah. So I said, so it ain't even the satisfaction category if you catch my drift. But uh, yeah, speaking of Star Wars, like all, all, like more of the story is don't be a don't be a bad co-parent and treat your significant other, ex-significant other, with the same respect you wish to be treated from them. Speaking of Star Wars, I wonder when the next Star Wars movie will come out. Probably not for a few. I think okay. I think they're doing a squat rope squadron type movie. Uh, other than that, it's all TV, man. Same with Marvel right now. They're they're focusing. So there's no movies. They're all focusing on TV and uh, all that. We got a lot more Star Wars TV shows than we do movies coming up. But then again, I kind I kind of like it that way because. I hated the last Star Wars movie, Rise of Skywalker. Hmm. So, but the Snyder Cut's coming out this month or next month, and we got our first image of the new and improved Jared Leto as a Joker today. He looks, he looks bad arse. By the way, uh, Dame, what were you saying about Torn? I was saying, uh, yeah, Charlie said that his ex found guys who looked like they came out of the trash can, and then I joked, so guys that look like Jordan. <laughs> Oh. Oh, well, like he, hope, hope, hope Jordan ain't here to say, here it is. He probably tried to find his way in here to, you know. Yeah, he, he, probably, doesn't, remember, he remember, probably doesn't listen to this. He doesn't have time to listen to this draw with all the stuff he does. And no one no one here is going to rat, right? 
No, I mean, not like what he did to me, but that's for another day. But um, uh, <laughs> he is he is a stream W. He is a stream W where he has to be on everybody's stream. So it's like I didn't like we didn't think that he was going to be on the loud this past uh, Sunday, and he was on there, which I kind of wasn't surprised because you know, you know, he when when a stream is on, he has to be he has to be there. Same yeah, with you, okay. Charlie. Yeah. So David, you're not gonna same with me. Yeah. I could say the same thing about you, David. Same with me. I said, Mr. Well, I work, so I, I can't be on. I did admit I won't be on the ML cast until episode 40, so. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be killing you, though. I'm sure you're going to be sitting there, like, sitting there on your computer watching or on your phone, and you're, like, scratching your leg like a junkie, waiting, just itching for the chance to get that next fix of being on the uh-huh. outcast. Uh-huh. I don't blame you, David. Like who would want to be on the Hangman Outcast? You know, it, it's it's the it's the one of the most successful podcasts in in, in the in the YouTube community right now. It really is. Like uh, well. like especially especially since since we have a uh, new and different guests every week. Like that's what makes it stand out over the rant and rave, and you know, uh, both of us is that you have the same old smelly people on there. Like of course you, David. And uh, the same old smelly people every week, <laughs> you know. It, like we have our usuals, like we have Tom and myself, but we have our usuals, like David or Dragon or so on and so forth. But like Paige is not on every street, so when he's on, it feels special. When um, like Dan, it, like Dan has now become one of us because when Dan used to be on, he was very rarely on it, and now he's on almost every week, which is great because I do like chatting with him. But um, but we have different people on there every week that makes it feel new and unique. I said so. Yeah, David said the the like one day the Hangman Outcast and the and Live and Uncut and the Loud are going to overtake Rat and Rave as the more popular of all the of all the uh, podcasts here on on the YouTube. We still got yeah, ways to go with both of them. Podcast because so, it's dead. Yeah, even that and, and David Three Thousand Fun and Habits. We're gonna overtake all of them. And we have locked it in know, now, anyways. So yeah, I was. I'll be honest. I was never a fan of uh, David Three Thousand's Fun and Happiness podcast. But anyway. I, I know, I know, I know. Paige, we should get. We should start a partnership, and like, as soon as we get better numbers, we should. We should uh, in, have interest in buying the IPs from all, all the people, so we can own everything and not use it like WWE. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So Danny, yeah. Danny, you could you could join in that you could be you could sell you could sell your we'll keep we'll let you keep bread bowl merch but you have to give us twenty five percent commission, um, and then <laughs> and then we and then we could we, I, we could buy David Three Thousand's Fun and Happiness. I can give it to uh, I'll make one episode to put it in the ground and then and then give it to Danny so he can rebuild it from the ground up. Then I could buy Rant and Rave and then I could make it into my own and then the very end. <laughs> <laughs> we buy chilling with Jordy. And we give it. We give it. I'll give it the page, and then I'll get. Uh, page. <laughs> yeah, we'll get, and then we'll. Well, we already got chill well, with page, and honestly, it's a better, better. It's a better chill with. Hey, the think... lounge is a better chill with Jordy. I gotta say that name. And he should go to me, and I'll call it the Red Bubble Podcast with Charlie. Right? <laughs> 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 hey, Jordan, if you're watching this. Make an offer to, to either me, Paige, or Danny, and we'll and we'll negotiate it. David, we'll hey, we'll we'll take this podcast off your hands for about hmm. We will we'll offer you three cents. We'll offer you three cents, like to to uh, to take this off your hands. Hey, hey, more hey, than David hey, like, gets. My business advisor told me to uh, to just take it from you, not give you anything so really this is the best deal i can offer you <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll pretty much give it we'll pretty much give it the booker teen buff bag well um treatment where we'll just put we'll just do like one like 10 minute like episode of it then after that like all of a sudden we're just getting raided and that's pretty much the end of the idea <laughs> yep. and david don't and, and um because we'd rather buy it from you than you just go out business and we take it from you or we buy it for nothing, like WCW, when they were worth millions and millions of dollars, and then when they went out of business, of course, they were 
like Jer- Chris Jericho said that he could even buy the WWE if he wanted to. I'd be found out how much they paid for it. So, David, I said, to take the offer for three cents because there could be a time where we buy it from you and instead of us paying you, you're paying us to get it off your hands. What about for Jordan or Tom? Oh, the Tom Willis show, of course. I can't do nothing to my co-host. Plus, he's on Twitch. I am trying to own a monopoly. Well, I'm trying to own a monopoly on, on all social media. By the way, follow me at Hangman Charlie on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitter. And follow me on Hangman Charlie on Twitch. And subscribe oh, yeah. to the Hangman Charlie YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to grow a monopoly on, on, the so, on social media and YouTube and Twitch, David. And even though I'm trying to buy out all the all the big big game, I gotta keep some of them around to have to have some competition. I can't be like that to be buy out all my competition and just run and then just have a, a horrible product for 20 years straight. I got I gotta like I gotta do everything, but yeah, I I will buy each and every one of their channels with their subscribers. That's the only way I'll buy subscribers if I buy it in a bundle with the person's channel with their IPs and all that. <laughs> so I'll buy Brandon Martin. I'll buy David's. I'll buy, let's see. And, and the four people that will be in partnered with this whole thing will be myself, Paige, Danny, and Tom. Yes. So get ready because, <laughs> because the, because the fortune, Oh wait, we can't, I was going to say fortune four, but no, the four horsemen are going to be taking over. And we're gonna do it styling and profiling. Woo! I'm gonna hey. make a I'm gonna make a poster of like the four of our faces photoshopped. Yes, the people. four horsemen of the four horsemen of social media <laughs> is taken over. Yes, and it's you like, guys have been you, put you, you on notice. Picked, you couldn't have picked a better four to do it, honestly. Uh, uh, yeah, we're chat. limousine riding, jet what, what, flying, riding. kiss yeah, stealing, and, uh, wheeling and, dealing, and, son of a gun. But Sorry. on the Twitch chat, on the Twitch chat right now, Brandon <laughs> says, "Charlie, no, you're not buying R and R. We'll see about that." <laughs> he'll oh, he, oh. Well, when the price is right, he'll buy. Hello, it. Brandon Martin. See, well, look, think of it. Think of it. Brandon wasn't on here until I right when I mentioned rant rape, and it's like he had a he had a buzzer from somebody saying, "Hey, hey, they're talking R and R." Well, Brandon, you had your chance to buy to to succumb and for us to just buy it. But unfortunately, Brandon, we're gonna have to, you know, we'll just like I said, we're gonna run you down so hard, we're gonna ram you so hard, uh, giggity, uh, that we're, uh, you know, that we're going that you're gonna instead of you making money, you're gonna be paying us. I uh, we'll get I, your uh, subscribers. I oh, actually, what's uh, what, David? <laughs> oh, David, what's in here? <laughs> Plus, I, I think I, it's time we start making some changes, anyways. I actually, I actually already bought the Bird Call podcast. So ever since I bought, I bought the Bird Call podcast. Uh, ever since the four hosts were not always on there, and I made it into the Call for podcast for a one day special. Hey, um, hey, 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 hey! You didn't make. You made uh, it. Was my idea. To rip Jordan over, okay, I'll, over I'll, the... Hold on. Hold on, sorry. It was me and you who bought it. How about it that? It was... Okay, fine. But I had all the ideas and you just wrote my coattails, which is exactly what you did. I get. I allowed you. I allowed you to, I uh, gave to you get... Credit. Your, I gave you credit. I know. And, and even the worst part of all, I was supposed to be j Manson Jensen. You gave it the page, even though he did a good job. But still... Like you took my idea and you twisted it around, so you know what? You damn right, I should buy your David three thousand from you. And if I buy that, because we are in the process right now, David, of acquiring the rights for XP Enterprises. Plagiarizing, but that's the we started. All right, watch your. That's not plagiarizing. Oh, we're oh, in the. Oh. I said we're in the process of buying them. Which means oh, we are. Brent, Brent, Brent said, watch your freaking mouth, Jory. What does it say on one of the rules? What rules? I don't know. On what rules? I don't see any rules. Oh, on, da- on, 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 on David. The thing is, we changed the rules on the spot around here. 
because like yeah. we said, we're the, like we said, we're the horsemen of you. We are the horsemen of the social media, and we're taking over things and we're doing things in our say, our command. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit there and you're just gonna get used to it. Oh yes, and you're gonna take it because we know, David, you like taking things very well. Anyway. Um, that explains yeah, lotion. Uh, Danny goes. Um, <laughs> uh. <laughs> lotion and napkins. But David, like, just realize that this is now. This is now not Dave, David three thousand fun and happiness. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Anyway, <laughs> this is not David three thousand fun and happiness. This is the new and improved four horsemen fun and happiness, or as I would call it. The uh, Four Horsemen Pain and Sorrow podcast. So welcome everybody to the new, <laughs> to the new and improved Four Horsemen Pain and Sorrow podcast. Yeah. We're here to talk about all the things that are so horrifying, so horrible that cause you great pain and sorrow. First off, what well, David? What's so horrible and, and and painful is why you not have a beard yet? You're oh. seventeen now. <laughs> I grew my first beard when I was 15. Mm. Uh, Next weird. up, David, is is we're going to put you on the spot. It's going to be the interview with David 3000 on the uh, Four Horsemen Pain and Sorrow podcast. David, just come out in the mid because it, it, it every day was there on the, the, the oh, counter of what, your, your – What my brain say? That's the, you're not the four horsemen, folks. You're actually more like bull, some bull crap. Hey, Brandon, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, Brandon. You said the C word. Anyway, David. So, uh, I think it's now time to do the uh, closing. Um, uh, Danny, do you have anything to say before we end the show? Um, yeah, if you uh, buy something from my Redbubble shop and send me an email of proof, then I'll give you a shout out of some kind on my YouTube page and some exclusive content. So that's all I care about right now. Oh wait a minute, what what Brandon said here? I don't care, Char. You can all you can all three you page and Danny can take these fingers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I like. <laughs> Brad, Brad, Brandon, Brandon, don't make us, don't make us have an interpromotional podcast war between the Hangman Outcast and, and the Rant and Rave. We'd win, <laughs> even if it's two on four. Even if it's like, even if it's like Jordan, David, Andrew, and Brandon versus me and Tom. Really, the only two we'd have to worry about is Jordan and and and, and you, Brandon, Tom and 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 or not Tom, David and Andrew would be like the the. The headless chickens we just need to keep keep tied up in, oh, in the bar. We, we can't say chickens according to Peter. Oh well oh yeah, that's true. And plus I I, I would talk about violent towards chickens. Hey, I those chickens were headless when, I, when we walked in there. Um and, and we and we after we beat Brandon and Jordan, we took those chickens home, we cooked them, and they were freaking good. Not as good as KFC, oh, but uh, um, so what? So now we have a battle, pretty much between the Hangman Outcast and the Written Reap Podcast about which one's better. <laughs> That's like if we count, if we count our special guests, Andrew, you are outmanned and outgunned, and even if if not that, you are still outgunned because you're going with the best one of the best Twitch streamers, rising Twitch streamers on Twitch right now, Tom Willis, and you got the uh, the Grand Elios of of YouTube. The uh, the YouTuber like the YouTube equivalent of Chris Jericho, the Le Champion of YouTube, Hangman hey, Charlie. I say you, you realize what you, you if you accept these terms of this interpromotional battle, you will lose. And and how about this? The winner goes up against both of us on the sofas, and I will finally get my revenge. And I will own oh, both of us on the sofas. The thing is, you were having a good, you were having a good promo. You're having a good chance there, but then you went to revenge, and that's where it kind of fell off the radar. But yeah. we'll go with it anyway. I think we gotta um, wrap this up. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna cut S two E five tomorrow. We'll talk about. We'll have the big Hangman Outcast versus Rant and Rave discussion. Um, <laughs> Here's about, the thing: the um, Hangman Outcast will fall down very, very hard, and for us, we are winning. 
like uh hey hey brandon like like you call you have a lot of confidence in that in that uh in, in your thing or like uh like um let's not forget brandon it's really two on two because david and, and andrew not only are they very easily thwarted they've been on both shows so much that It'd be hard to pick a side. Andrew may pick my side and betray you like a good old-fashioned wrestling betrayal. Low blow I, you I, at I the end. I can see that. Andrew would be like, oh, what should I pick? I'll pick Charlie. <laughs> and, and, then, and then David looks like he's about to side with Jordan, but then he kicks him in the junk while I give him a RKO out, out of nowhere. And then, you know, yeah. it's all over, you know. And then I'll reinstate David's hair in the HGPW and, po- and give him a a co- fair world title shot, or maybe give him a, an opportunity to become an interim heavyweight champion until the next big title match. So think about that, David. You could have championship glory at your fingertips once again. Well, anyway, um, so. Uh, you never denied it, Brandon. You better watch your back. Charlie <laughs> went there. Charlie went out the radar right there. And anyway, uh, speaking of uh, Charlie, uh, do you have anything to say before we end this? Yes, yes. Uh, ma- once again, make sure you follow me on Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, I and added Twitter. You on Snapchat, and- Charlie. So- oh, good. I, yeah. I- I was going to. I got home today. I passed out. Um, okay, okay. Make sure to uh, follow me on Twitch at Hangman Charlie. Subscribe to me at Hangman Charlie on on this on YouTube, and uh, then anywhere else that I may rear my uh, rear my head in. And uh, don't forget to check out the the best the uh, one of the best podcasts of in YouTube right now. Next to the Live and Uncut in the Lounge is. Uh, Eight or the Hangman Outcast coming this Monday with me and Tom Willis. Oh wait, Brandon said, "Oh no, 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 Charlie, HCBW's BS, Dan XB will have my side to take over your your crappy wrestling brand." Shut your mouth, Charlie. Brandon, <laughs> you do realize we're in the process of, of purchasing XB Enter- Enterprises, you schmuck. <laughs> so in that regard, we'll own Dan XP, which means Dan XP will work for us and the four horsemen of pain and sorrow. <laughs> you know, Charlie, Dan could be listening to this right now, so Yeah, wow. and, and, and and yeah, he could he could be listening and then he could <laughs> screw <laughs> you ding Crocodile <laughs> 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 Dundee, is that Crocodile oh, Dundee, is that you? <laughs> um But yeah, so yeah, make sure to check out all that stuff. Thank you for having me on, David. I do, I do appreciate it. And and, and in the stream, busting your balls is is always is always a great way to end the stream. So, oh yes, much much uh, much uh, thanks, David. Before I go, okay, Brandon had to comment anymore. We'll we'll wait. But anyway, <laughs> I'll throw it back to the host. All right. Uh, so that is going to end for uh, the season to premiere out there with thousands of subscribers podcast. I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, uh, more episodes coming soon. Uh, David, what? Uh, Dan is on Twitch right now, so you better—I would say plug him on Twitch. Well, I uh, just saw a tweet from him right now. Hey, he 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 supports you a lot. So you, better, you better show him some love. Don't make me tell Dan. You don't you don't know you don't want Dan to turn his back on you. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna host him. Look, I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna... This is Dan XP, by the way, not not me, Dan XP, another Dan. No, yeah, no, yeah, not not Dan, Danny Pokemon Lewis, not him. But <laughs> um. Anyway, so let me continue on. Um, yes, that's gonna end for this episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, you can you can see the video version on Twitch for two weeks only. And uh, then after, you can only listen to it on YouTube and Anchor on both at David Thousand. And, Charlie, uh, I do you have a PEDs you're guilty of it. 
Quit believing the the, the, the the fake news as David 3000 slash CNN. And then, I'm uh, not. And, and $30. Hey, hey, sorry. Guess who's here? <laughs> I, I thought it was Dan. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Robbie I, was, yeah, ran, I was afraid of that. Robbie Rant and Rave yeah. right here. <laughs> Brandon, do you want to say some words before we get to? Yes, I do, David. <laughs> oh, Charlie, 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 Charlie. You think yes. that you want to buy the Rant and Rave podcast in your right mind of saying it? We're going to offer you $5 for it, which is more than what we're going to offer David. How about go kindly eat a dick for all I care and shove it? NXT, is that you? You know what? No, that's the other guy. <laughs> hey, at least you said kindly. At least, at least you said what was sincerity. You know, Brandon. I I noticed that, Charlie. <laughs> like, uh, like for David. However, like, see, this is why you're the better host, Brandon. Even even when you're doing an insult, you do it with kind gesture. David just flips people off and has no sympathy towards anybody. <laughs> oh. So says the guy who wants to play to I stand and says he wants to bench. We're we're by we're buying XP Enterprise. There's a difference, David. It's not like we own we we're, we're own it right now. We can't say, oh, well, we own XP Enterprise. No, we're in the process of buying. You know. I got my 1,800 lawyers, you know, buy like that. I pay really well buying it, you know, buying all his 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 merch, buying his panda. I heard he's got panda locked up in his in his house. So we're gonna buy his panda. We're gonna trade it for a lion and go all Scott Steiner with it. So we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. But Brad, as I as I told David, I'd rather I'd be like you'll deal with three hat three. Force of the four horsemen right now. We we're, we're giving you a generous offer. We suggest you take it unless we, unless we have to just uh, beat it out of you and just take it for scraps and say, hey, you got to pay us five five thousand dollars. Not on your life, Charlie. Not on your but look, life. <laughs> but look on the bright side, Brandon. When you have to pay us, uh, like uh, but uh, Brandon. Uh, when you when we you have to pay us five grand after we uh, obliterate, you know, the good news is you get something out of it. Though. You get a lifetime membership to my new Snapchat Premium. Ah. <laughs> you know what? No, here's here's the thing. I'm like, Deck, you got keys. Is that you? <laughs> uh. Well, yeah, you gotta pay me fifty dollars, or I or I or I'm gonna. You know, like it started in the summer because I, I need I need uh, I need that fifty dollars to use for packages bundles for the kids. You, no, you know, no, that is BS. I'll say that right now. That is some pure, simple BS. You are not getting. Well, shat. you know, I'm not getting shot. Are you saying I'm not getting shot? Shut your mouth, Charlie. I'm talking. <laughs> you don't. So I'm still talking. I okay, Brandon, continue. Well, thank you. Let's just say this. Charlie, for the phone record, I could care less. Do whatever you want to do with the, the, the self-proclaim for horsemen. Unlike the real horsemen, you know, it's still better than your your... Your fake four horsemen bull crap. Let's be real on that. Well, yeah, too. because I got, I got, <laughs> I still got to grow my hair blonde. I got to get, uh, I got to get Danny Buff to look like Tully Blanchard, you know. And so, then, and then uh, I need, uh, I need, uh, I need Tom to, to kind of get a, a very short hair so I could, they could do Arn Anderson, you know. Or maybe he could be a uh, Magnum P TA. Maybe he could be that guy. Depending on which version of the horse when we go by. Who knows? Tom could be uh, fly, uh, Brian Pillman if we're, we're going, depending on what version of the horse we're going for. 
we could have David in the four horsemen, but he'd be the sting of the equation, which means we'd always turn our back on him and we'd beat him up, you know. So Sting was I will say this, Sting was a great baby bitch, but he was a dumb he was always a dumb person when he came to France because all his friends always betrayed him. No wonder why he went silent for a year. Um, awkward silence. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they, hey, yeah, Brandon. The video, the video you sent me, I haven't seen it yet. But the, was that the uh, Valentine's Day thing? Yes, it yeah. was. Oh. Well, thank you. I do appreciate that. Make sure you go check out my book, Brandon Mark, the Rant and Rave podcast. You know, one of the talented YouTubers here. For how much longer we'll find out, but Brandon, Brandon, you. You are a cool cat, and you'll always have a like. No matter what happens, you'll always have a job at the Hangman Outcast. We'll see. We're not like we're not like WWE where we tell you, "Well, we got you," and then we release you three months later, and then you go to Impact. We got you. <laughs> well, I would say this: if you were if you were willing to sell it, what would be your asking price? That's a good question. Don't worry about it. You have to wait and see. <laughs> hey, we, we could make a deal right here. That's why I'm asking. We should do that off the air, though. $500. Yes. No, we, like, we, we got witnesses. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got witnesses. We got witnesses. We, this has become very volatile. I feel unsafe. I may have to go report this video to Twitch so it gets taken down. Oh. Like I feel, I feel triggered and I feel, I feel offended, and and and, I, and, and my Karen powers are about to activate. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! All right. Um. Uh. Anyway, I want to take everybody for watching. You will have a great night and stay healthy for the very tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah.